What's up guys, it's your boy Jeff for Dragon Knight here, and I'm bringing you guys IBL Season 6 Draft Analysis, yes, yet again, we're in another Wi-Fi League, but this is the Wi-Fi League that I've really been, really, really been hyped for, um, after PCL, after I've joined that, I actually applied for IBL, like, midway through, like, PCL Season D-League, I mean, it was like 5-6 weeks in, and IBL, the um, coach application is dropped, so what I went ahead and did was I applied, and... I was one of the lucky few who was chosen to participate in season six of the IBL. So I'm very honored. I'm very, I'm very glad to be here. Um, shout out to the owner, the commissioners, Zion. And, um, oh wow, Zion Nero. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't say it. What's this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me just say. Let me see who it is. Eric. Eric Miller. Neon Zero. I was seeing it back with Zion Nero. No. Neon Zero X Zero Zero. Whatever you want to call it. Um, Eric, he's the commissioner after Ultra Rage dropped from being I'm not Ultra Rage, I'm just saying. Brendan. Brendan was an original commissioner, but he had to drop to IRL things, so it passed on the torch to Neon, aka Eric. So shout out to them for bringing me in and, all, and also the IBL Council for accepting me into the league. And this uh, and this league is very, very competitive. Um I'm going to be going for the chip, as y'all know. I'm going to be trying to try my best. You feel me? We're pushing for the chip in PCL. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to put my efforts into the IBL and try to win this, win it all. Okay, you know we're trying, we're trying to win it all. Um, so yeah, that's that's what it is. Uh, shout out to my front office for helping me draft. Um, I, I think the ones helping the most were Car Aqu Aqu Aquarius. They was the one helping the most. I think Zombie helped with drafting as well. I'm not too sure, but I think Zombie have helped out a little bit here and there. But it was mainly just me, Aquarius, and Zombie just came in sometimes here and there just give some advice. So I'm actually very proud of this draft. Um, you know, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. And we ended up with the sixth pick overall out of 12 coaches, so we're dead center in the middle. And I was kind of bummed out because. I, I wanted to use Tapu Coco, right? I was like, okay, if I, if I, I want to get top three picks, so hopefully if I get top three, I could just shoot Tapu Coco because I've never used Tapu Coco before. So I was like, you know what? Before I became into the draft, before the, uh, the order was released, I was like, the three months I really want to draft first round if I can, it gets to me, is Tapu Coco, Kieran Black, or Garchomp. Those are the mods I've been dying to use for the longest time. For the longest time, I've been trying, dying to use them. I've used Kieran Black once in UDL, but that season that died, so and it wasn't like a full experience with Kieran Black. Um, so that's what, that's what we're going ahead and doing. So with, with our very first pick in the draft, sixth overall pick, we went ahead and picked up Kieran Black. Yes, we went ahead and picked up Kieran Black. Uh, Tapu Coco went like I think it was the very first pick. I think it was the first overall pick. It was the first or second. I don't remember exactly what the draft happened a while back. So, it's what he picked up, and it's also standard GBA tier 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, double 2 tier 3s, and you get 4 free mods, also with the required Mega, and we came in 6th. The previous, the previous pick before us was the Miami Men's Ogalbino, a 5th pick, and the 7th pick is known as Talon Frames Austin, also known as Garchomp of God. So, um, I'll, I would have put like their picks in, but just too much time, I do not have the time to, you know, input that stuff, and... and the video is supposed to actually go up today, and it is going to go up today. It's Monday as I'm recording. It's 5:48 p.m. Breaking the fourth wall. I have to actually go watch the finals right now, so I'm trying to make this quick. Not gonna take too long. I have the NBA finals are on right now in about half an hour. Um, so hopefully we'll get this uh, video recorded, edited, and start rendering it, and start watching the game. So that, that's the goal. So um, they do switch back and forth. It's Miami Men's fifth, then me sixth, then North South from seventh. And then on the way back, the Lord's Final Flames, me, then my immense. I'm not going to change uh, the previous pick up next to the land. It's going to work. I'm not going to do that. So, this is the very first pick, Kieran Black. Um, Kieran Black was still there. Garchomp was also still there. But I was like, um, I want to use Kieran Black a bit more. It hits super hard. It's a little bit more bulky than Garchomp is. I have four times switch as Garchomp does in Ice. So, I'm like, it's cool. We'll go with Kieran Black. I really want to use this one. I feel very tempted to. Um, and surprisingly, Garchomp did not go. It's just... It went like round four or five, so I could have actually waited on it, but I, wanted, I really wanted to go Kieran Black. I was like, why not? Let's go ahead with a very hard, hard hitting mod. And next, I was like, I want to pair this with another hard hitting mod. Um, so I wanted, to be, uh, I wanted to pair up with a very hard hitting mod in the Lego next pick, but uh, we didn't pick that up because um, Aquarius was telling me, no, pick up this mod because it fits so much better with it. 
and the next one that we picked up for our second round, we went ahead and picked up Pharaoh Thorn. And we picked up Pharaoh Thorn as a tier two because Aquarius told me that um, curing black weaknesses is taken care of by Pharaoh Thorn. We do know that we're weak to fighting. They're both weak to fighting. Curing black and Pharaoh Thorn both weak to fighting. But we're like, that's fine. Um, Pharaoh Thorn is an insane good defensive mon. As lead seed uh, thing, it's a grass type, it's a good steel type, so we have a dragon steel color already. We have missing a fairy type, so we should go with the uh, grass type thing as well with the lead seed, like a gyro ball and things like that. It's also very, very annoying to deal with, so it's gonna be forcing a lot of prep to try to break Ferrothorn and also prep to you know handle Kieran Black. So, right after that, we already have two um, amazing pressure mods, and we have to well, they have to bring some type of Coverage or some type of way to break Ferrothorn, and they need some type of way to handle Cure Black right out of the gate. So, I really like this pickup, and you know, it just really worked well. And it's a little too early, so I'm like, we could patch up this fighting with this. We have a long time to go, we have another nine monsters to pick up, so I'm like, we could patch it up very nicely. And next up, I wanted to pick up Nihil Legal again because it's still on the board, and Aquarius told me no. Don't pick that up right now. You can pick up Nihil Liga later on. It's a ground with also it's another fighting with this. He said uh, they said don't stack it up right so quick. I'm like, okay, that's fine. And they suggested that I go for Megazam, which is our next pick. So Mega Alakazam is our next pick. And I was kind of sketched out at first. I'm like, ah, Mega Alakazam. It hits super hard, but it's like it's very, very, very frail. It can't take any hits. It just dies usually. It can maybe take one hit and dies. That's what my understanding was. And it is super, it does hit super hard. It's like a glass cannon, kind of. You know, it has some type of bulk in it, somewhat. You know, you could say that, but it's kind of going on to me. Was looking at it, looking at stats and stuff like that. It's a really good mod. It's base 150 speed, so it's insanely fast. Um, I'm, I'm I could afford running modest most weeks. I don't have to. No one times I'm gonna run timid if it's like zero or I'm versing or if it's like another another fast speedy mod like me. So I could afford just running modest most most matches. Um, so it's really good. It's a psychic type, so the fighting resist. It's not the greatest fighting resist, but you know, it's something, you know. So if it's like a focus blast, you know, take that up because our special defense is very good compared to our defensive defense. It's not low, low, it's like base 80, but it's like, you know, our Alakazam's HP is not the greatest. It's like base 55, so it is what it is. And um, so we're looking pretty good. We have Kieran Black, Ferris, and Alakazam. Very, very, very nice. We have two offensive monsters one special offensive, one physical offensive. Kieran could also be specially offensive as well. And we have Ferris, which is defensive both sides. This is really, that's very defensive. And next up, I'm like, I've been really, really wanting to need Lego. And Chris told me, go ahead, pick it up. You could go ahead and pick that up now. So that's exactly what we're going to do for the fourth pick of the draft. Pick up Nihi Lego for the fourth round. And I've been meaning to use this mod for a very long time. Actually, it's just really good when you actually touch it properly. It's, so, it's such a great mod. It's, it forces so much pressure, so much things on your uh, opponent's prep. Or just like, it's amazing. So we have three uh, stupid offensive mods and Kieran Black, Alakazam, Nihi Lego. And Ferrothorn is a very defensive mod. And, um, we do have kind of like two like frail mods, you can say Alakaz Alakazam and Nihilego, but Al Nihilego is very defensive, has good defensive stats, the only thing that brings it down is physical defense, and it being weak, and it being four times weak to ground, yes, this is our second four times weak mod, we have four times weak fire and fair thorns, four times weak to ground and Nihilego, so now we have two stat, we have stacked up two four times weaknesses, so that means our opponent has to bring either HP fire, or HP ground, or if they have the coverage, they have to ice punch, ice beam, slash earth power, earthquake to hit both sides now. So we have that type of pressure as well, and um, those mind beams forcing our opponent to make. So that's the end. As you see, we already used up our free slot already in the fourth pick of the draft. Um, so next up, we're thinking, we're like, okay, we need some bulk because we have some great mons. Um, Physical hitting mods, we have three great hitting mods, Kieran Black, Alexander, and Lego. But we only have one wall in Ferrothorn, and that's we need to fix that. So what I suggest is these next three mods are all at once. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm going by one by one, of course. But the first one that I suggested was Florges. And Aquarius liked it because with the other two mods we pair with, it's actually phenomenal. 
So I say for this, um, it's a great, super spadef and spadef mon. Um, defense not that great, but fair throws really good around that defensive. Floor just with wish passing, with the wish pass, cure in black, wish pass to be and even though that does get recovery, but you know, that's good to have. Wish pass and Ninja Lego, wish pass and Alex Kazam if I need to. Um, so it's a really good mon, but you can also win this combine because it does have a decent special attack. Um, you can just run like max HP, max this death, um, just combine and you could just start. You could just calm minds up and start hitting things hard with uh, with the wish and the protect force. So it's really good. It get it does get taunt if I'm not mistaken. It gets heal bell aromatherapy I think, not heal bell. So it's really good um, cleric. Good check too. That's our that's also our finishing our FDS core and cure black dragon fairy and floor just with steel and ferrophone. So the team is coming along nicely and. We have kind of a steel weakness in Nihi Lego, Forges, and Kieran Black, where we're going to still resist Ferrothorn, but so we'll go ahead and pass that up later on as well. So, next up, we go ahead and pick up Gligar for this time. We're going to pick up Gligar because I'm like, I need a ground type, I need a ground immunity. This is Gligar. Gligar's tier 4, we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rounds in. This is one of the best times to pick up Gligar. It's going to go either this round or the round after this. So, I'm like, I might as well pick up now. Get that on our team with, with ground um, immunity already. Good for Nihil Lego. We have four times ice weakness, a third four times ice weakness, a four, a four times weak mon. So we have four times weak to ice, Ferrothorn deals with, four times weak to uh, fire to Ferrothorn, Gligar deals with, and four times weak to ground that um, Gligar also deals with for Nihil Lego. So um, Ferrothorn weak to fire, Gligar takes that. Also Nihil Lego takes that. Nihil Lego is weak to ground. Um, Gligar takes that because we're immune, and Ferrothorn also takes that. Um, Nihil Lego is, I mean, no, Gligar is weak to ice, Ferrothorn takes that as well. Not Nihil Lego all the well, but you know, Ferrothorn takes that. So, all that synergy is coming together all nicely. Also, HP Ice Cure and Black comes in on that. Nihil Lego doesn't want it, doesn't appreciate it because it's neutral, but you know, we, we have things for that. And the last defensive check that I suggested was Jelly Scent. And the reason I said Jelly Scent is actually a really good one too. Very bulky water type that I needed. You no, know, bulky water types are always one of the greatest, greatest mons you could ever have in, in draft. I, I feel like it is one of the greatest mons you pick up in draft. So it gives us water ghost type. We have normal immunity now. Um, even though normal is not really hurting us that badly, but you know, normal spams could be quite annoying. We do have a jealous so normal could just come in and like do with swallow, say, choice specs, boom burst, or like a choice scarf, boom burst, or like a Flame more guts return things like that. Um, these normal threats can't. They could deal damage, but we have an uh, answer to it right there. And Jealous is a very bulky boy. Um, very high speed death, but also defense is not that bad, so it can take hits both ways. It can wall bunch of mods with water absorb, which gives another immunity, but this time in the water, which is great because Kalago doesn't appreciate water, um, and Nihilago doesn't appreciate water. Boom! Jealous it comes and it takes up all the water hits. Uh, we do have like a knockoff weakness in Jealous and Gligar because we have the uh, Evil Light and Gligar, but we have Floor Dress right there. But no, what can you do? Um, Alakazam is weak to knockoff, but no, it's not super weak because it's holding Mega Stone, but it is what it is. Um, so next up, the next pick, I we I wasn't really um sure on what to pick up with next pick, but Aquarius has been telling me ever since um before the, even the draft started. They were talking about how one of these mods should not belong in tier 2. And that one mod that does not belong in tier 2 that we go ahead and pick up is Buzzwool. Um, Buzzwool was for whatever reason in tier 2 and whenever, when Aquarius saw that, they told me that's wild. That's that's like robbery. Why would you put Buzzwool in tier 2? You need to pick that up as soon as possible. And Aquarius was telling me to pick up the second round, or third, uh, third, uh, third round, yeah, third round. Chris told me to pick up third round. I was like, nah, I can wait on um, uh, Buzzwell. We could do that as well. And we go ahead and pick it up. Like, what, what, what round is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Round eight. We pick it up round eight, which is like insane. Buzzwell does not go round eight. And you see that as our third free spot left over. So that's what we do. Is we pick up Buzzwell. Um, it's really great, man. It's a fighting bug type. It does have a four times weakness. It is our four times weakness flying, which is our fourth fourth time weakness mon. So the flying is also taking care of the Lego. Glago takes flying hits. Ferrothorn is immune to, um, neutral to flying, but it is what it is. 
we have he's also to five, but Glagor takes care of that as well. So we have four mons four times a week, and we'll have four times week just is. So that's to be insane mind games to go, okay, what mod are they bringing? Which HP do I need to bring? Is it HP ice? Is it HP fire? Is it HP ground? Or is it HP flying? So that's just going to be, you know, uh, messing with people's heads to be like, okay, we'll have a good matchup, we'll have a bad matchup, and I can just throw a random curveball and bring like a bad matchup on him with me. Let's say Buzz was a bad matchup. And they don't decide, oh, they said, no, he's not going to come, Buzz was not going to be there, um, I don't need HP flying, and he doesn't bring any type of flying stab, um, or like any type of flying move. And I just bring Buzzle in and curveball, boom, Buzzle does a bunch of damage and, you know, things drop. So, uh, that's really good thinking of, uh, uh, thinking if players was like, this is a good mod, I, was, I know it's a good mod, it could do a lot of work, it could be, it could be a wall as well too, if you don't want to bring it offensive, you could run it defensive too, it's a very good defensive check, it checks things like, um, Zygarde, checks things like, very offensive mod, it checks Kieran Black, um, so, it's also a very great mod, because it's the defense is absolutely wild, like a base 134, something like that, so, that's that. And the next pick, um, I pick up a mod that I've used before, and I feel like it's just going to work amazingly with how this team is. And the next one that we're picking up is Alolan Persian. And the reason I pick Alolan Persian is because, as our last free slot, is because um, great defensive mod, dark type, so I move to prankster right away. Um, gives me taunt, gives me foul play, gives me parting shot, which is the most important thing that I was looking for. And par parting shot is phenomenal because pivoting on my team is great. If I have an opportunity with um, in a lot of Persian, I just parting shot out, going to my one of my breakers. I'm going to Kieran Black, I'm going to Alakazam, I'm going to Lee Lego, I'm going to Buzzwall. So that's great for that. It's a really good pivoting option as well. He does take hits fairly, fairly well. Um, he doesn't get recovery, so you have to rely, rely on like leftovers um, or like like Rocky Helmets or Chip on down as well. But this is a really good bulky pivot. Um, Especially with the foul play, thing is cannot set up in front of me. If you try to set up in front of me, he is very fast as well at base 115 speed, so I do outspeed a lot of things. Um, I just come in, if you try to set up with me like Swords Dance or something like that, I just come in and bop, just bop in the foul play, and I do your own attack stat boost against you. So that's what he, that's what I'm, I want to purchase here for. I also get pivoting. Next up, we went ahead and picked up um, Mon, because like the last two Mons we're looking at, and I'm like, okay. What are we missing in our type? And I'm like, okay, we're missing a fire type and an electric type. Uh, what else type are we missing? I don't think we're missing like. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, 50 types. We're only missing 3 types. Uh, uh, what's the other one? S not a steel. Missing fire, electric. And one, there's one more type I'm missing. Which one am I missing? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm missing three types. I don't know which time I'm missing. So, um, and I had a tier three and a tier five left. And looking at tier three, I'm like, is a good fire type with tier three left? And the fire type left in tier three was Darmanitan. And I've been dying to use this mod once again. I've used it Piba, Pita, Pita season two before that died off. And we died like a good year or something like that. But Darmanitan was phenomenal for me. I love Darmanitan. It comes in, hits super hard, especially with the sheer force. You can bring either Life Orb, you can bring either Short Scarf or Life Orb. Um, you can bring Twist Bandage as well if you're gonna bring that. But this thing hits stupid hard. It's not base 95, it's not the greatest speed team, but like for our team. We're not the fastest team, our fastest mod. It goes from 95, um, from our fast mods, of course. It goes from 95, um, 103, 115, then just jumps from 115 to 150 so we have like big gap right there so it doesn't fill that gap for um, a visit um, put a hole in the void I guess but it's like it is it's fine I guess so really good mod really good mod I've been dying to use once again this was really great with like U-turn shear force um flare blitz rock slide you put a life orb as well so yeah it's just a phenomenal mod but the last pick um, we're looking at and we're just like, you know what, tier 5, what's a good tier 5 mod? And we're looking at Vickable. I'm like, Vickable is lit, it's bug, the electric type. Um, gives me levitate, another ground immunity, so that's really good for me. And it hits stupid hard, even though it is pretty slow. And that gets sniped right before me, so I'm like, alright, you know what, let's go ahead and pick up Electivire. And the reason we picked up Electivire is because in PCL, <laughs> we don't have an elect electric type. And that bit me in the butt two weeks, not in a row, but two weeks throughout the whole season. Bit me in the butt. If I had electric type, I could have broken bulky waters. 
and that could be the same exact thing with this team. So we're like, no, nope, we're not playing this game. Of course, like we are not playing this game. We're looking at some other mods down to five, and of course, like you have no electric type. We're not playing this game with peace, like like we have in PCL, trying to break these bulky water types. We're not, it's just not happening. So this is exactly what we do. Pick the electivire, even the web gels, and but you know this is just an easier way to do. And I've been wanting to use electivire again. I've used it in uh, a different league that I have not found YouTube, of course, but. Looks like Electivire has a lot of potential, it's a very good mod, it's got Motor Drive, um, what's the other one, Voltum, it's not Voltum, so, but it's like, Motor Drive and another one that also is like, oh, what is it, one ability, I guess hit by electric, boost speed, the other one boosts special attack, so I don't know which one it is, Motor Drive or something else, I, I can't remember right now, in my head, so this is a good mod too, you can run through Scarfer, create A B to take hits on both water types, um, I'm, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, this get Drain Punch, for recovery, but it's a really good mod. Hits super hard on the physical side. You can also run, um, um, especially with like Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, and things like that. But I'm probably gonna be running, running physical, like Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, things like that. Um, so that's the team. Let me know how you guys like the team. We do have four different mods with four times weaknesses, so that's gonna be very interesting. And for the very first week of the IBO, we're taking on Luxance and his. Um, I think it's like Gronigan Galades, if I'm not mistaken. I'm taking on Gronigan Galades, and I don't know how Lux is, but I've heard that he's a very, very, very good player, and we'll find out next week on next Monday to see if we actually win or not. Start our IBL with a bang or not. So, shout out to everybody um, for letting me in, and you know, shout out to GFX. I, I can't remember their, their, their name off the top of my head, but there will be a link down in the description. And the links or whatever so show some love for that if you're the hype for ibl season six make sure you guys go down below smash the like button if you haven't subscribed make sure you guys go ahead and do so you guys do not miss out on any ibl action if you have any comments suggestions or concerns about the team leave them down below this has been your boy dreadful dragonite out peace later